guys uh, welcome to tech design hope everyone is doing great so in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can make this modeling as you can see here uh, we uh, it's a little bit complicated so we have a rib here between these two uh, bodies so we'll start and uh, we'll just create this model so before going to do that uh, there is an one question that is asked in the comment section so i just need to answer that so he his question was actually he has unable to get uh, uh, when the geometry constraint is active, uh, he is unable to get uh, this uh, perpendicular and horizontal lines, so horizontal constraints. So if you if this is not appearing, you can just expand this, and here it it might be switched off. So as you can see here, if these two are switched off, you cannot able to see it here. So you just need to switch on these two, and if you want any other constraint as well, you can just switch it on over here. If you want a fixed, you can just uh, switch it on. So only the most commonly used are uh, these uh, whatever we have switched on over here. So these are the most commonly used uh, geometric constraint. So you can just switch on those things uh, over here and you can just click close. So as soon as in the next time when you go to geometric constraint, you can see uh, all the commands whatever you have switched on uh, that will be appear on this screen. So I will start with a new file. So I'll just go to new file and um, keep it as a model. So we can just give whatever the name we want and we'll just click OK. So this will take you to, you know, a 3D workbench. So we have, you know, uh, WCS here, work coordinate system. And now what I will do is I'll just go to sketcher and I'm going to select this plane now. So what I will do is, as you can see here, uh, this profile I am going to do now. So this profile I will do and I will just extrude it about uh, 90 mm. So as you can see here, this is a 90 mm. So let us make that now. So what I will do is, I will just go to Sketcher environment and I will select this sketch. I will just click OK. So now uh, we can see that uh, the dimensions over here. So this is 13 mm and this is 23 mm. The overall here 35 mm is uh, for this edge and 48 mm is for uh, this edge. So let us start creating this one now. So what I'll do is I'll just make a simple uh, profile the similar to what we have seen in that uh, drawing. So later we can just give a uh, dimensions that is not a matter. So okay. And this here as well. So let us trim this two push. Okay. So now uh, what is the dimension as you can see here this is 48 and this is 35. So let us hit D. This is 48 and this is 35. Okay. Yeah. So now uh, you can see here this is 13 and this is 23. So let us go to dimensions. So this is 13 and from here to here it is 23. Okay, now our sketch is fully constrained, so we can just click finish. And as you can see here, uh, we are having the extrude of uh, 90 mm. So let us give an uh, symmetric uh, extrude of uh, 90 divided by 2. Okay, symmetric values, so which is 45 mm. And let us keep it as a none. And you can just click OK. So now, as you can see here, we have got this simple uh, pad here. And also we have to do this circle. So as you can see here, there is a circle here. So which we'll need to, you know, extrude along the 32, you know, mm. So let us do that now. <clears throat> so what I'll do is I'll just go to sketcher environment on the same plane. So you can see here. We also discussed how we can make a, you know, modeling in a single, uh, you know, drawing uh, sketches itself. So if you are interested, you can just make that as well. So now what I'll do is I'll just draw two circles. So let me check. Okay, one is 70 mm and another one is 44.5 radius. So let us create that now. One is 70 diameter and another one is 44.5 multiplied by 2. Okay, so these two should be concentric. Okay, so now uh, as you can see here, there is a distance of 44.5 and which is uh, also a 76 mm from this uh, distance. So let us give that now. So go to rapid dimension and from this point to this it is 44.5. Okay, and also from uh, this point to this point it is 76. Okay. 
so now as you can see here uh, it's fully constrained and also we can just give these this as well so what is the straight line you can see here there is a 76.25 mm so let us give that now i'll just draw four lines so these are my four lines okay and let me make everything in a single line so i'll just okay, make a horizontal alignment so these two should be horizontally aligned this also and this also so let me join that so i'll just go to sketch here in a moment i'll just join this and also i'll just join this okay so now uh, let me give a dimensions for this as you can see there is a distance of 5 mm and overall is it is 40 uh, 24 mm so before going to do that i'll just draw here uh, you know a line which is a construction line which can be referred for uh, giving a dimension so this is my center line so what i will do is i'll just make a distance now so between this to this it is 5 mm and also just close this and it should be at the center so what i will do is between these to this i will just provide a 2.5 so that it will be symmetric oops it is 2.5 okay so now it is perfectly at the center and also as you can see here there is a 24 mm diameter uh, sorry distance so let us give that 24 mm as well okay here to here it is 24 mm okay and now uh, the thing is that uh, we have to make these two uh, lines uh, equal length so we'll just go to equal length and select this and this and make that equal length so that's all we have so we have to trim the extra portions that we just not required so what i will do is i'll just go to trim quick trim command and i'm going to trim this portion okay and here as well so this is also not required and here this is not required this is not required okay let's close this okay just delete this uh, line and let me give dimension to this line now this is 2.5 okay <coughs> now as you can see here uh, we are you know having uh, three auto constraints auto dimensions so we'll just extend this line press e and uh, okay let's trim this extra portion mm -mm. okay we don't have a uh, line here to extend so that is the reason we cannot able to extend this so now what i will do is i'll just make a constraint horizontal alignment for this point and this point okay now we are left with only two dimensions let us check what are those dimensions and let me give that later okay as you can see here this is not a vertical so let us make it as a vertical line okay now we are left with only one and let us see what is that okay hit this dimension as you can see here this dimension we are not given let us check what is the dimension 76.25 from this center so let us give the dimension from this point to the center it is 76.25 okay so now our sketch is fully constrained so what we can do is we'll just go to finish the sketch and uh, extrude this so i have finished the sketch and what is the extrude length we can see here this is 32 mm so we can just provide uh, 16 mm so i'll just select this and symmetric value of 16 okay click as none and uh, click okay so now as you can see here this is our model and now we have uh, you can see here uh, there is a rib between this and this so we have to create that rib now so for that what i will do is i'll just go to sketch environment again on the same plane okay and now as you can see here this is tangent to this line and it is coming up to this um, edge and here as well there is a line so we'll draw that now go to line and start from this point and make it tangent to this okay in the same way i'm going to draw it here and let us make a 
tangent to this okay i'll just trim this now so let me make a con you know a geometric constraint so point on a curve so this point should be on this curve okay <coughs> that's all so we can just finish the sketch now okay what is the extrude for uh, this rib as you can see here it is 15 mm okay sorry guys it is a 16 mm so let us give a 16 mm so we go to extrude and single curve and stop and intersection so i'm going to select this and this and this and then this outer edge so it is 16 so let us give 8 mm and click okay <coughs> So now, as you can see here, guys, uh, our model is almost ready, and uh, we are left with only few, uh, you know, edge blends, and as well as this blend as well. And we are also left with some of the holes, as you can see here, some holes we need to create. So for that, what I will do is I will just go to Sketch Element on this plane. So this is my plane now, and we have uh, three holes. So this hole, this hole, and uh, this hole, we just need to provide. So let us see what is the. This is 13 diameter. So both side it is 13. and this is 16 so let us draw those this is 13 and here as well it is 13 and then we have one more which is 16 okay okay guys uh, this is not a 16 as you can see here this radius outer radius is 16 not the diameter of this hole so i think uh, i assume that the diameter remains same the so the 13 is the itself so i'll just provide a 13 as on the all three sides so this is also let us make it as 13 okay so now i want to constrain this so what is the difference it is 56 58 and here it is 16 so first let us make horizontal alignment so these two are the horizontal alignment and now let us go to dimension and between this to this it is 58 and between these two this it is 58 by 2 okay and between this to this point that is 16 okay so now uh, this dimension as you can see here this is actually lying on this center line so let us give that dimension so point on a curve so this point should lie on this curve okay okay and also we can see here uh, this is a 16 mm radius so the distance from the stop will be 16 so let us give that dimension as well so from here to here it is 16 okay So now sketch is fully constrained. You can just finish the sketch, and I'll just go to extrude and select this, and let us make it as a sim, okay, single value itself, opposite direction. So we just need to trim this. So just go to subtract. So before going to do subtract, we have to unite all these bodies because these bodies are not united. So with this body, these two should be united. So now only you can able to subtract this. so go to extrude and select this sketch and it should be subtracted with this body click okay okay so now what are the left thing is only the this thing so we just need to provide 16 mm as a edge blend so go to edge blend and select all these four curves so it should be 16 and click okay okay guys so now as you can see here our model is almost ready so we are only left with some of the edge blends so you can see here this is a 6 mm so let us give 6 mm over here so edge blend so this side and this side it is 6 mm okay and now as you can see here in the section view uh, they have given the section they taken the section over here and it is radius of 3 so we just need to provide a radius of 3 edge blend over here so fit 3 mm and just provide the radius over here edge blend okay and also uh, let us see what are the things we are left okay so here as well there is a radius uh, edge fillet 
everywhere it is edge plate is provided so let us give edge plate as you can see here this is radius of uh, 3 mm and radius of 3 mm over here as well so let us give that uh, as well so now let's go to edge plate and let us give here first okay okay and hit control w and switch off everything and show only solid bodies okay so i think our model is completely ready now so we don't have anything left here to provide all the edge blends and all the you know cutouts are completed guys so hope you enjoyed this tutorial so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below and i'll try to answer please subscribe to my channel and hit a like button as well as share my videos thank you guys